apparently, in Florida, the term climate change is banned. That's according to uh, some of the people that have worked at Florida's Department of Environmental Protection. Now, officials, they say they unofficially banned the words climate change and global warming from all official communications. And this is according to the Florida Center for Investigative Reporting. Now, four different former employees from the Department of Environmental Protection have come out and said, yes, they're banning the terms climate change and global warming. And this is our experience. Four of them have, been, have told the uh, Florida Center for Investigative Reporting that they have been instructed not to use these terms during their time at the DEP. Well, when was this started? Well, this was started during uh, the time where Governor Rick Scott was elected to office. They said, quote, uh, Christopher Bird, who was a former employee, said, quote, we were told not to use the terms climate change, global warming, or sustainability, because, you know, God forbid, we want to be sustainable. Um, that message was communicated to me and my colleagues by our superiors in the Office of General Counsel. Now, of course, the DEP uh, press secretary says, no, 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 that, no, no, we didn't actually ban those words. We don't have a policy on this, meaning that it's an unwritten policy. So they come and tell their workers, don't you, you're not allowed to use these words without actually having uh, it written down for people to scrutinize. Oh, fascinating. The different ways that this ban on climate change and global warming using those terms manifested in a uh, variety of different ways. For example, one writer wanted to include climate change in a series of fact sheets he was writing on coral reefs, trying to protect the coral reefs, right? But he said he was instructed not to by DEP employees. In addition, when volunteers attended a 2014 meeting, the Coral Reef Conservation Program held to train volunteers to conduct presentations on coral reef health in Florida. Two volunteers said that they were told not to address climate change when talking about threats. Fascinating. Now, it's kind of ironic, right? Florida has the most to lose from the effects of climate change. For example, they are considered ground zero for sea level rise. And it's already impacting parts of South Florida. They're saying by the end of the century, scientists, by the way, the end of the century, Miami is going to be under, you know, two feet of water. You can't exactly have a city if it's two feet underwater. These geniuses in Florida have decided, no, we're going to ban the, the words because banning something obviously makes it go away. Obviously. We had a bunch of geniuses in Florida, man. And not only that, but I want to address how, how could someone like Rick Scott win in Florida? And continue to get reelected in Florida. How? How bad of a Democrat do you have to be to lose to Rick Scott? Medicare fraud. Yeah, he presided over the biggest Medicare fraud in Florida history. And he won? He won. I don't know what's even more sad. The fact that they're banning these words and pretending like climate change isn't an issue in Florida in the very place that's going to be affected most in the United States by climate change or the fact that the Democrats were so weak that they couldn't beat Rick Scott. I don't know what's worse.